AMC stock is up 0.61%. We'll cover AMC's stock data, market sentiment, and market news in this video. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to let me know what you think. Let's begin. First things AMC shares hit a multi-year low of $3.998 since Thursday. This low and how you hit it bounced you up this Y cough. This indicates you plummeted, hit a bottom, or rapidly bought up, and then struck a major demand zone with several buy orders. This is a hint of a longer-term bottom, the capitulation or flush-out stage, and those candles usually indicate some nice bounce returns over the next few weeks. We'll see how that goes. Today and after hour will be huge. You do have SoFi stock that is up about 23% today, one of my largest holdings um, that I have across many different uh, brokerages. So I'm planning on making a video on that TM um, later on in the day today, but that is definitely helping out the smaller map stocks to see a big win on Sophie's earnings. Um, definitely uh, good news for the entire small and mid-cap sector, whereas a lot of investors have really counted those stocks out for Ann. Extended a uh, period of time, but we do have more earnings that come out here in after hours today, one of which will be very important. We spoke about this a couple times here on the channel so far. It is going to be super micro. They are the largest comp opponent of the Russell 2000, as you know, AMC is. Also in that ETF, that index. So if SEMCI has bad earnings, on which they already pre-report the earnings or updated the guidance like two Fridays ago, so we already kind of know what the numbers are going to look like, but it does set a high bar for uh, the next quarter, right for next quarter, right for next quarter's guidance in which we don't have uh, next quarter's uh, guidance just yet. And then the other factor with Supermicro is on December 1st. Uh, they, they, they did announce they were going to dilute shareholders about 4%. They're going to raise about $500 million. If you look at the balance sheet, the unreceivables and the uh, current liabilities, yeah, it looks like they definitely need to uh, raise some capital. And it does not appear as if looking at the stock chart that they have actually done that typically the period right before earnings or right after earnings, you don't tend to see um, dilution. So it could come after earnings and uh, you know that could be. Negative, I mean, SEMCI has rallied 70% in January alone, 76% or, or some kind of crazy number, a lot of that based on their preliminary uh, numbers they did release about two Fridays ago. But nonetheless, the stock could be set up for a fall after earnings, which could negatively impact your Russell 2000. Names. Um, and, and, and that would be unfortunate, but that isn't a possibility. Here, you definitely need to be made aware about now. As far as AMC stock specifically, it does not look like you have much for actual news today. Um, it says Reddit, which has nothing to do with AMC, but it's popping up here on the uh, news why for AMC. It says Reddit advised to target at least $5 billion. Valuation in IPO, so Reddit uh, IPing at some point 2020, is uh, going to be exciting. We'll see. We'll probably cover the stock at least a little bit here on the channel, but nonetheless, the option activity here on the day for AMC stock, you have volume of 75% to the call side, 25% to the put side. So uh, more bullish activity than bearish activity, that's for sure. And uh, you do have one order specifically for AMC worth $560,000 and a positive order value of 100%. So uh, that's a big order. And this specific trade is uh, for January 17th, 2025, a $10 call. Uh, uh, they bought 10. Zero, zero of these for $556 a dollar a piece, $560,000 total. So whoever's buying this believes that the AMC stock is going to make quite a large move in the next six months or so. So, so a deep and defightly interesting there. We'll have to see how that does evolve. We'll probably talk about that a little bit more in the next video as well now in regards to all of the data that is uh, currently in play. For AMC stock today, you do have 10.62% short interest offer flow. About 24.53% of the 1.42 million shares out on loan are sold. Thus, 8.28 million short bets are needed to cover them. 1.08% utilization of 38.3% and a short score of 59.35 out of 100. Which are decent numbers here and are improving from where they were short interest was 7% and some change now it's 10.6%. When younger investors looking to trade this stock see the 10%, 9.5%, it looks better than 7% right. So a little bit of an improvement there. We only have this one piece of economic data today, so let's give it to you. Last month's Dallas Fed Manufacturing Index was minus 10.4, expectations were minus 23, and today's was minus 27. Simply put, manufacturing is in horrible shape. Tomorrow and tonight, Europe will provide good GDP statistics from France, Germany, and the EU followed by shocks. Job vacancies posted tomorrow morning have mixed expectations. This dropped from 8.75 million to 8.69 million last month, or 8.79 million. Job openings should decrease. 
A steep fall in job vacancies would be a major concern, but a little increase would likely be good news. At this juncture, when everyone is worried about a recession, more companies should hire rather than lay off. The latest AI investor mood survey shows 26.1% pessimism. A fresh one will be released on Thursday. Investors are 34.6% neutral and 39.3% positive on the yield curve. As I indicated in the previous video, watch this to see whether it reverses during the next few days, especially on Wednesday when the Fed meets. The Fed may halt quantitative tightening, which could affect the yield curve's reversal. Reversals in the yield curve frequently precede recessions. Today, I think markets are more evenly divided. Recessions normally occur a few months following the unversioned phase, depending on the observer. Some predict a recession, others don't. Currently, the 10- and 2-year notes are inverted by 19 basis points. Markets are pricing in little change for the Fed policy announcement on Wednesday. At 51.4%, the Fed is expected to prolong its pause on March 20th. Wednesday will be a major day for that, and if the Fed ends quantitative tightening, interest rate-sensitive companies will do well. Wednesday will bring a lot of earnings to tomorrow's pre-market Pfizer, promote PS and others. By March, this Wednesday, the Fed will announce whether they will cut soon. They don't want market surprises. This week is very hectic, with Tuesday and Wednesday being slower earnings days. Tuesday night and later MSAMD Alphabet Starbucks MasterCard Fisher Thermal the Boston Scientific the Fed will dominate Wednesday with Apple following hours on Thursday. Bonovo Nordisk and Qualcomm will follow. Amazon Meta reports results Friday. The week will also see Chevron, X, and pharmaceutical businesses report. Most of the SP500 will report earnings. AMC stock on Twitter may suffer if we don't achieve expectations. You're bullish on the market. Volume has improved from an all-time low of 9 a day ago to 25. The participation ratio has also improved, and you are currently 52, which is significantly better than recent data. The fraction of equities above their 50-day moving average fell 0.86% today. Due to SoFi's earnings and the hope that small-cap stocks may survive this earnings season, several of your small-cap stocks are outperforming today. The SP500 isn't doing much. Additionally, tiny and mid-cap equities may be undervalued. The massive capital transfer, as the Fed potentially stops quantitative tightening, is another scenario we'll address in the upcoming video. That might bring part of the $6.2 trillion in money market funds back to our markets. Consider that the Russell 2000's market valuation is $2.7 billion, so it won't take much. All that money returning to our market on Wednesday should boost small-size companies, but we'll see. I also expect the Fed to end quantitative tightening to benefit small and micro stocks most. The SP500 is up over 0.1%, approaching a SPY record. You're still around 20 cents off, so we'll see whether that happens today. SMHE will have the most impact on your semiconductors, like NVIDIA and others, so watch that stock. Today, the UVXE is up 2.45% and volatile. As expected, the Fed will report its profit results on Wednesday in economic statistics this week, but the surge is interesting. The VIX is